talk about this month's church tech tip. And it's the Follow Me 3D tracking system. You told me a little bit about this system, but can you tell us how this system works? I think this is something that a lot of churches need to know about. Yeah, it's, uh, it's something I've somewhat been involved with since about 2017. I was introduced to it on a European tour. And uh, what it does is it jumps on the lighting network and you tell it which fixtures you would like to use as essentially follow spots. And the follow me will grab the parameters that it needs and then pass the rest of it through. So normally what I do is I tell follow me to do pan and tilt and also beam size. So it's controlling the zoom as well. And the rest of it I handle from the console, the intensity, the color changes, the fade ins, the fade outs, all that stuff. And what's great is we just have people sitting at a table and for, for every person that you want to follow around, you need a person to actually operate a kind of a joystick controller. And they're looking at a, at a monitor, following them around, taking a target, following them around. And at any point I can say, all right, you 10 fixtures swing on over to target one, or you, you hundred fixtures swing on over to target four. And it's really great. And it's, uh, it's taken a lot of the, a lot of the, spot calling out of it because you know unfortunately the at least in the states the the art of the follow spot has uh kind of fallen by the wayside except for some of the major markets but you know i've i've had shows where i've been lucky that the person even knows stage left from stage right so this system being able to take that out of their hands as long as i can just say hey see that guy there with the dreadlocks stay on him at all time and it's a it's a great system and uh you know, I've, I've been, I've had great success with it, and so much that that uh, we own six of them. Yeah, I think the follow spot piece has always been a struggle, whether it be a concert, whether it be a theatrical production, uh, and honestly, in the church market, they've they've just eliminated. It. They don't have follow spots on on a Sunday morning uh, because they just weren't reliable, or it was a circle and just kind of looked weird. And so what intrigued me about this is how it could revolutionize the church market and allow them to run uh, things around the lead uh, talent, the pastor or the singer, uh, darker, because they can then add this system in, follow them, but still control it from the console, correct? Correct, yeah. And, and at any point in time, another great thing about it is you don't have to dedicate fixtures to just be a follow spot. Uh Whenever you don't want them to be used by Follow Me, they they just act as a normal moving light under control from the lighting console. And you can use any lighting console with it, right? Correct. Well, I, I should say any lighting console that can do ArtNet or streaming ACN. Okay, so ArtNet, streaming ACN. So that's most of the you know yeah. the major lighting consoles. Now, how do you map it for the stage? How does that work? So you start off by hanging a very small camera up high, typically on a downstage truss, looking down at the stage. And it's got it's got four 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 or five calibration points where you you put this dot downstage center, downstage right, downstage left, upstage left, upstage right, and then you tell it you enter into the into the follow me system how far away from downstage center is downstage right, and same thing for downstage left, and how far upstage and left and right, and then uh, it knows the three D area that it that is playing in. Then at that point, you then uh, put your fixtures in there that you plan on using at some point, and you also give them, you know, a roundabout, you know, 3D area as to where they're hanging in the rig. But the nice thing about it is you don't have to be dead on with that anymore. This is a, an improvement they've done in the 3D system. It, uh, you run this fixture calibration or fixture refinement wizard, and each fixture irises down, and you literally move it over to each point on the stage, all four points, and whenever you say, okay, you've reached this point, you've reached that point, you've reached that point, then it knows, oh, okay, so if I had to pan a tilt this far to hit this point, this far to hit that point, I must be hanging right here. So it, it makes it makes it a lot easier than it used to be. Yeah, that's very cool. So, you know, if a church wants to figure this product out, buy it, uh, maybe even, I don't know if you do this, but bring you in to train them, like, What's the best way to get a hold of the Follow Me 3D tracking system? Can they contact you or do they need to do something else? No, they can contact me. And in fact, uh, I recently went out to a, uh, a country artist, uh, Eric Church. They have their own Follow Me system that they own. 
And uh, they just needed me to come out and get their people trained up because the people that they had had in the past that were setting it up and dealing with it on a daily basis, uh, they were on other tours. So uh, I went out and trained three or four of their, their techs. And uh, so far, I haven't gotten a phone call, so I guess I did pretty good. Yeah, so if you want to check out the Follow Me 3D tracking system, uh, you can get a hold of Matt at mattm at touchlx.com. Is that correct? That is correct. That is the uh, design firm I'm a part of, Touch Light Media. DGCM is a 501c3 nonprofit that was started to help churches with all things technical. Whether you need help building a team, finding the right gear, or just a better understanding of the church tech world, DGCM is here for you. Find out more about our free on-site visits, reports, and consulting by going Going to audiovideolighting.com. Digital Great Commission Ministries will help you run your church service like a pro. Find out more at audiovideolighting.com.